Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to New Forest Morphs. I'm filming on my own today. I've got Jared's got a day off and Mandy is away. So I've come into the uh, facility and we've got clutch number 14 has arrived. It's Starburst, which is our uh, Mojave Ultramel girl that we produced ourselves. And she is paired to two boys, Randy, who's a pied and he's a pied het ultramel boy, proven breeder. And then we put Colt, which is his son, who is an ultra male pied. So uh, we've got a chance of hitting a Mojave ultramel uh, het pied is what we're looking for here. So let's see what we've got. We'll bring her out and uh, see how we get on. So Starburst is in here. She gave us one little slug yesterday. So she's now sitting on some eggs. So we'll see what she's given us. And here she is. She's a beautiful girl. There we go. And there she is. So she's uh, three years of age. And you can just see there she is, sat on her clutch. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, lift her. And then once I've lifted her, I'm going to put her into this new clean rub here. So we just have to hope that she will let me take her without giving me any issues. Come on, darling. Good girl, good girl, good girl. And then I'm gonna take her tail and then just see whether we can lift her, which we can. And then we just check to see how many eggs that she's taken out. So I think she is pretty much empty. So we'll just put her in there. And then we will take the egg box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her some water. She's very dehydrated. So we'll give her some water at the moment just to let her rehydrate. And I'll put a lid on her. And then what we'll do is we'll see how many eggs we've got. She looks like she's given us quite a few slugs there, but um, let me just put her to one side. Right on Starburst, your first little clutch. It's not a massive clutch, but it's uh, at least three eggs there. So let's have a little look and see what we've got. So if I take a picture of uh, the eggs. That's what we've got. So three eggs and three slugs. So let's now try to set them up in here. Now I normally like to leave them as they lay, but obviously she's got a few slugs in there as well. So what I'm going to do is actually she's given me one, two, three, four eggs and three slugs. So let's just remove the slugs. And there's one little slug in here. We'll just remove those. We'll try and keep the rest of the clutch together. Out comes the slug. I've we'll removed the slugs, and then we've got three, four eggs that uh, look pretty good. And again, we'll just take the paper off so you can see what we've got there. Four eggs, and we've probably had four slugs because we had one earlier. Let's put those together and let's just see. Now what I might do here is because we've got some boob eggs, I might actually separate these and actually show them as, uh, so I'll take one of these eggs away so we get everything on the lower level. If I take the one at the bottom, like this, and then I can I don't know if you can get that picture there, but I can get some straws and support the straws with those. So it's really hard filming and doing this, but we'll do the best we can. And then I'm going to sustain them, support them with the straws. One, two, three, and four. Hopefully, it'll stay nicely. So there we go. So that's our clutch. 
and I'm going to candle them to see whether we've got any veins. Let's give that a go. Here's the three slugs. So you can see the three slugs I'm going to put in the bin and we had one last time. So if we say uh, four good eggs and four slugs is what we've got here. I'll take a picture of that so we can see what we've got. That's lovely. Right, we're going to candle them and see whether we've got any veins. So just bear with me while I switch off the lights. Right, let's have a little look. So let's see what we've got here. Veins. Difficult to see whether these smaller ones have got any veins, but we'll just check. So the other ones aren't looking that promising. I can't see too many veins. But we'll leave them together. There is one at the top which looks like it's got veins. The other three have got weak veins so it's not the best of clutches. But I think we're probably going to have uh, one good egg and three that may not be fertile there. So it's a uh, first time clutch for her so she's obviously trying to get going. Let me just put the lights back on. Just bear with me. Okay, so not the best of clutches, but we shall put them all in anyway and see how we go. So let's just record what we've got. So I'm going to say that eight eggs in total. Eight eggs. I'd say that we've got one, two, there's three boobs and one that isn't a boob. So if I say three boobs, one good, and four slugs. So not particularly good. But let's say we've got effectively four there. That takes us up to 93 eggs. So we're not far from the 100. And I think we'll just put those in the incubator. I'll give her a bath. And hopefully uh, at least one of them will actually prove to be a Mojave Ultramel. 100% het pied is what we're looking for there. So the due date is today is the 9th of April. So if we add 60 days, that gives us the 6th of June. 24, which is my birthday. So it could be a birthday present for me if it does actually produce. So I think that's all for now. Um, we'll just put them away now. But thank you very much for your love and support and we shall keep posted. Calypso is ready to give us a clutch soon as well. So we should get some more clutches coming. So clutch number 14 has landed. And thank you for watching and we shall see you again. Bye bye for now.